Welcome back to Building Fallout. In our last episode, um, we threw up a quick camp to get some oil so we could get a new paint job because I just couldn't stand running around in that construction yellow anymore. But uh, we're here outside the Rusty Pick because um, I found... Oh look, someone, someone's invoked the Scorched Beast Queen. Um, but I found um, all of the code fragments I need to uh, launch a nuke, but I'm three levels off of the special cap. Now, if you notice, I have no caps left. Um, that is because I went to the White Spring and I picked up a few things to um, customize my power armor, so the torso is giving a plus two to strength with the motion assist. Um, my bracers are reducing the cost of power attack, so weapon bashing can be almost endless. Um, I'm getting a plus two to my perception from the helmet, and then the uh, vented legs, I think, combined give me a 10% uh, reduction in battery drain. So, it's something for now. I picked up a, a, a everything that I thought looked good, but there's a few things that require nuked equipment for it so you know, or nuked parts to make the equipment so what we're here for is uh i was just like well let's do a quick side quest and i've been holding on to um maps forever because i was already here in my notes so i did the excavator and um it sent me to roland's labor camp now i'm gonna do a two for one because i'm gonna go mine for the dig site, but we're also going to go find Beckett. Well, um, it's one of the ally missions. Um, you're hard to repair. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Alright, so I came to the Rusty Pick because it's a free, fast travel. I don't think I have... Oh yeah, the burning mine is closer. So we'll spend the four caps. Now this, I'm hoping, is going to be somewhat of a quick video. Um, it, honestly, it's not. It's going to be full of combat. Because Beckett is a reformed Blood Eagle that the Blood Eagles have captured and are planning to kill. So, yeah. But I also have a little pet peeve of the fact I have the same ally at my two different camps. So, it just makes me feel like I made Gramps pack up camp and come to me, but, um, I'm gonna keep Gramps at my secondary camp that we moved over to the Waste Oil, and then, you know, whenever we find a new plot of whatever that we want to scavenge, he'll be the guy. But I like having Beckett or uh, one of the other followers at my main camp. Gramps is cool and all, but not to mention Beckett and um, Commander De Geer have storylines, and I like Beckett's storyline. Commander De Geer's is kind of rough, but she technically has the better weapon. I just like Beckett. So, first things first, we're going to come in here and we're going to decimate as many Blood Eagles as we can. Hi! He was tough. And again, I'm just trying to get these last four levels. I said three just because I'm practically through. There we go. Ow. Where are you? Aha! Now, I've been rolling a one-star effect on this 50 cal. It's not the effect I want. I have Berserkers right now, which the less damage resistance you have, the um, more damage boost it gives you up to 50%. So if I was running around in the radiation suit, and only the radiation suit, I'd be doing 50% more damage with this. But that's also 
suicide. So, I think right now, because of all the protection, I'm getting 5% damage boost, which is, any boost in damage is a good boost. Now, if you're already saying to yourself, that's a lot of blood eagles, there's a round two. Um, so I might as well just let him... No. On second thought. So now I'm going to become over encumbered. No. How did he even get to this point? Well, you see, some guy came into your camp and just messed all of you up. That's how it got to this point. T60 40. Oh, I wouldn't want to make you sad. I'm gonna try and not scavenge, but anybody who's been watching this series knows that I'm a junk fiend. Every everything has a use and a purpose, and I sound like a hoarder. All right, let's get a level in here. Uh, I do believe I was on bare arms, but we're looking for the next level of this to open up. I'm gonna go with bare arms again because that allows us to carry um, different types of heavy weapons for different situations. You're a terrible shot. And reducing the weight of them is just fantastic because a lot of these things are over 20 pounds. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. But that leaves a lot more space open for um, scrap weapons you want to scrap and such alright so now that the coast is clear I'm gonna come up here and come talk to Beckett now again this is a decent place to scavenge most bandit camps have some good loot but right now we're just trying to get Beckett out of a pickle never pass up a desk fan or a surgical tray Yeah, I know. You need to get out of here. Um, just let us know. Come on. Fair enough. Let's get you out. Alright, so the key is somewhere out here. I should have taken the time to go and try and find the uh, dig site. Just because now there's going to be again round two. So back outside. Now I think they don't show up until I grab the key. So I'm going to take this moment to see if I can't go find this dig site. Okay. I wonder if it'll give me a marker when I get close. Probably not. Ah, there it is. I forgot it's just a mound. Alright, so now that we found that. Well, that looks like a bunch of good junk. Huh. I will take it. So now, let's head upstairs, if we can. Never pass.
Nice up, Bobby Pins. Oops. I'm pretty sure you can't, even if you're, like, skilled in it, you can't, uh... Disable that trap. Hey. Yeah, you're really gonna pull me out of my power armor? That's funny. Now T60 has the lucky seven. Oh, you got an automatic laser? Oh no, you do. I don't want it. Ooh, grenades. Alright. Why do we keep playing this game of hide and seek? Just come eat your bullets like a man. Now, if you've been watching, you know that I used to get overweight a lot easier than that. That's just the power of bare arms reducing the weight of your weapons. Is there still someone else? More? And I'm not seeing anybody on the radar. I am hidden. Oh, I got banjos. Now, if I remember correctly, there should be a workbench. Aha! That's why this is a nice place to scavenge because. You can rip apart a bunch of. Scavenger bulls right here in the camp. All right. So now that's all dealt with, we're going to go let Beckett out of his cell. Aluminum. That is why, because aluminum. Yeah. Alright, listen. The gang help me get them back. It's mine. Please. Let me just get through the dialogue options. I'll run in a Tell them you get the stuffs. I extort him. My bag? Just because caps are caps. Okay. So now you need to go retrieve his belongings. If I remember correctly, the sludge works are pretty close. It's like walking distance if you don't already have it uh, unlocked for a fast travel. Check the map. Yeah, it's not too far. So we'll go ahead and 
have a sprint in that direction. Now when it came to me buying upgrades, a lot of them were really expensive. I bought some of the cheaper ones and then the ones that I know I would end up using. But um, like there are upgrades for your legs that make you run faster and use less uh, action points to run and things like that. They're just pricey and I do believe that they need um, nuked ingredients. But it's already on our radar so it is pretty close by. I'm gonna switch it up though, just for weapon condition. I need to go on a wood run, but that is way too simple. Just hit Fallout 7, yeah, hit Vault 76, and then go uh, south to that responder camp. There's lumber everywhere there. Also near the Sons of Dane, near Fort Atlas, there's a lumber camp. So there's a few areas just full of wood scraps how have none of you seen or heard the guy in the power armor hello and so it begins you guys really like your grenades huh oh I thought you were up Someone else? Somewhere else? Ooh, hi! Plasma Gatling! Please drop that for me. It's all up to R and Jesus. Please drop it for me? I'm asking nicely. And... Gatling laser. I'll take it. That could be parts. Never be ungrateful for a good find. I'm hearing bobble. Must be on top. Yep. Ooh, get it. Of perception. Ironically enough, what helped us found it? What helped us find it? Sorry, I can't speak left today. Er, right. It, yeah. That. Alright, and Beckett's belongings. You're the dumbass. Ah, <sighs> guilty. Alright, so now that we've gotten all that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and head back to our barn, or our, um, our new bar. Yeah, we're gonna put a bar in. So like I said before, our traveling camp is gonna be Gramps just because he's the forager. Like that's his title in the game. So it makes sense that he'd be the guy that, hey, we got ourselves a new spot to go ahead and dig in what we need right here. Uh, I don't know why that's what an old codger sounds like to me, but it does. So instead, we're going to have a little party place going on here for us. It's also one of the reasons I built such a big pavilion. This was kind of sort of maybe part of the plan. Alright, so... First things first, you got to wait for Gramps to get up out of his chair. Which is a little ridiculous, but... Now, I might downsize just so it'll fit, because that is rather large, but I still want a, a 
something here. So I'm going to scrap that. You could store it, but I'm going to throw a stash box in here. Um, we'll put the metal box. That should fit. Oh, come on. I had it perfect. And that's floating. Alright, and I always like to make sure that things still function. So let's go ahead see if I can still get into bed. Perfect. So the guest bedrooms are uh, still accessible. So now, uh, step back off to the side. Now you can either go to new, or you can go to allies, either way, but, really? And there we go. Come on. So now there's Beckett's bar. So now we need to uh, wait for him to show up and get into place. So there he is. Wondering why he's just standing here. Well, could you do that from behind your bar? I want to make sure you got space enough to actually stand there. Or, you know, no. But, uh, so let's see here. Yep. True long barrel. That's nice. Let's see if I can do something with that. No, because fiber optics. That's still a really nice attachment, though. Especially for VAT's accuracy. But we're going to stick with what we got going on right now. Just because we need scrap. Now there's a few ways to get fiber optics. Um, you could always just wait for your junk extractors to work. Or you could take over a couple of workshops with junk extractors. Um, get them all working in unison. Fog crawlers as an enemy. Drop them. Um, what else? AVR medical and my personal favorite. Um, Ella's bunker. There's a, like, a cluster of them there, and then there's, like, seven of them in the uh, AVR medical. <coughs> so me personally, excuse me, I like to uh, take the Charleston landfill because those junk collectors, at least one of them is going to have fiber optics by the time you're done scavenging the AVR. So, but that's how to get Beckett into your camp. Um... I'll probably continue his storyline just to get these last three levels. Maybe finish it after, but... Yeah. And he's not much of a vendor, but he is still a vendor. Um, see if... Because I don't know if he'll trade if he's not standing at his bar. Yeah, no. But you can do it with interaction. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close out the video here. Because really I was just trying to uh, get this started and it happened to be, uh, you know, get two missions done at the same time. Two birds, one stone kind of situation. But hopefully you found this informative and entertaining and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.